Okay. All right. Everyone, thank you so much for, for joining me today. Once again, my name is Warren Campbell. I will be your host of today's conference. Uh, today's topic, we're going to talk about professional introductions. Okay. I will teach you language you can use to present yourself during a, a business event. Now, today's conference will be in English. However, there will be some French translations throughout the, the presentation, okay? Um, the, the presentation itself is suitable for A1 to A2 level, okay? I'd probably say more A2, okay? Um, now, if everyone could just confirm their level in the, in the chat box, uh, some of you have done this before, um, so if I need to, um, you know, adapt the any of the language, I can. So if you just type, for example, A1, A2, whatever your level is in the in the chat box. Okay. Perfect. Thanks, everyone. That's great. Superb. And um, I should say as well, um, if you if you have any questions, any comments. Uh, throughout the presentation, you can write them in the chat box and I will get to them as soon as I can. Okay, let's get started, shall we? So, um, as I say, today's topic, we're going to be talking about professional introductions. Okay, I'm going to share with you some advice on how you can craft or form your introduction so you know what you're going to say when meeting new people in professional circumstances. I'm also going to share with you some advice about getting to know your audience and knowing your audience, which is very important. And last but not least, one of my favorite topics, small talk. Okay. So let's begin. Now, as it says on the screen, maybe you'll agree with me on this, a great introduction at a business event is like um, a key to a new partnership, right? It can open doors and it can set the tone for future collaborations, okay? So it's getting that first impression correct, setting the, the foundation of a, a solid, working relationship okay this is why you know getting that introduction correct can be so important it's why it matters let's take a look at some advantages of this now when you there are more opportunities with a good introduction okay so you know having that framework there to say you know, to establish the good relationship, it can open other doors in the future, okay? Creating more opportunities for you as the individual, right? Standing out from the crowd, make yourself memorable, okay? Make sure the other person remembers you in a few weeks or a few months down the line as well. And the final point on this page, on this page, sorry, um, showcasing your expertise. Okay, so you know, telling the person, you know, what your skills are, what you're knowledgeable with, your expertise, as it says here, this can be a good way to make a first, uh, a good first impression as well. So, crafting your introduction. I'm going to share with you quite a bit of advice on how to do this successfully, okay? Now, this might seem like a very obvious point, but say your name is very important, right? You might have to say it a few times in order for the person to remember. I remember reading an article a few years ago where the um, the writer explained how you should say your name three times during the conversation and say the other person's name three times as a good way to remember 
uh, their name in the future. I don't know about uh, everyone here, but you know, I meet lots of new people all the time through work, and sometimes it's a challenge to remember everyone's name. So you can make the process easier. Okay, say the person's name many times and try and say your name many times as well. Now, another good thing you should do here is state what you do, okay? State what you do in a very clear way. First example, introduce yourself like, hello, I'm Warren, for example, a data analyst with expertise in predictive analytics. Okay, so you've got the name there, we've got the expertise together. Okay, you might want to highlight your strength during the conversation as well. What are you good at? For example, I excel, I like this word, I excel in streamlining operations. Okay, now streamlining, making things more easy. Okay, this is a good term for anyone here who works in project management in particular. Okay, so I excel in streamlining operations. Second example, okay, uh, as we can see here, I'm your name, Warren, uh, education professional, <laughs> for example, with the focus on your type of strategy and type of development. We can see an example here. I'm Fred, an IT professional with a focus on AI strategy and software development. Okay. Now, we're going to do a little interactive exercise here. Okay. Um, if you want, okay. I would like you to try this. Try and write a small introduction about yourself in the chat box, okay? So again, just in here, okay? So you can say, for example, I'm Warren, um, educational, professional, with a focus on blah, 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 okay? Um, so yeah, I'll give you a, a minute or two to try this. Nicola is right in there. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so just remember, Nicola, I'm a financial controller. Okay, we need that article in there. Okay. Thank you, Christine. I'm an accounting manager. Great. Let's see who else, what other jobs do we have? Superb, ah, Faustine, another educational professional. Nice, <laughs> thank you. And Claire works as a lawyer, an industrial company, customer service professional, with a focus on quality of service and retention. Virginie, thank you, yep, project manager. Okay, so streamlining, you might have heard that term before that's a good word for you uh, Sarah a press relations officer nice Patrice a maintenance manager hi okay so just remember that high expertise Patrice no T at the end okay and Victoria thank you so much everyone these are great superb so I'll be experts at introducing yourself in professional circumstances in no time. <laughs> Good. Okay, thank you for that. We can see other ones here. I work in HR and I manage a team of 10 people. If you want to talk about, you know, what you manage uh, in the workplace, I work in IT support and deal with queries. Other things we could say here, I assist with office supplies and equipment. I manage supplier contracts and I work with new employees to help them settle into their roles. 
So many things one could say there. All right. So which responsibilities do you have, everybody? Okay, so I've included a list of very typical responsibilities you might have in the workplace. I've included the French translations here as well to help. So we have terms like project management, customer service, financial analysis, sales and marketing, human resources, IT support, research and development, and administrative support. Okay, so for me, I could say now my, my responsibilities are not so much on this list here, but I could say I'm responsible for the education of my students, for example. What about you guys? What are you responsible for? Anything on this list? You can write them in the chat box. I remember one of the students, Virginie, I think. Yep, uh, the project manager. I'm responsible for project management, perhaps. <laughs> Contract negotiations, cool, clear, yeah. Very well written. Geraldine, superb, yep, great sentence there. I'm responsible for the satisfaction of customers. Cool. Let's see if anyone else comes through. Good. Okay, I see them all coming through now. Christine, I'm responsible for producing accounting documents, balance sheet, income statement, etc. Nice. I'm responsible in project management quality. Okay, nice. <laughs> responsible for man project management, educational support. Yeah. Superb, superb. Excellent. Thank you, Virginie. Thank you for that one as well. Okay, some good use of language there, everyone. Okay, so yes, um, just a little tip for everyone. Most of you have done it as already, but I will say, um, when we say responsible, okay, the preposition we usually use after is for. I'm responsible for. For example, with uh, Nicola here, I think it might be a typo, but I'm responsible for the financial analysis of my company. Okay. Thank you, Victoria. Thanks everyone for contributing there. Shows me you're paying attention. That's good. <laughs> now some other pieces of advice, some obvious points here, clarity, speak with clarity. You might say, for example, I work in marketing rather than saying I'm a working, oh, sorry, I'm a marketing professional. You can say both, but it's much more common to use the, the second sentence here. It's clear and concise. Conciseness as well. Keep it brief. I specialize in project management, like some of you, and love solving challenges. In confidence, stand tall, firm handshake, and say it's a pleasure to meet you with a smile. <laughs> Now, getting to know your audience or to know your audience in general. Let's take a look. Now, with this point here, now how people present, this can be quite an individual thing. We all have our own presenting styles, I guess, okay? But one thing that's very important for everyone is what do you say at conferences? What to say at business events or if you're giving uh, an important speech, right? So I'm gonna share with you some tips about this as well. Oh. There we go. <laughs> so we have here, for example, a technology event. Now, we can see many um, pieces of technology here, shall we say, lots of equipment, the GPS, the printer, et cetera, et cetera. 
But you might want to use some uh, expressions like this. For example, let's discuss some of the latest advancements in technology. Or in casual conversation, I find it fascinating how technology has made communication so much easier. Conversation, you know, it could lead in some direction, talking about social media in the workplace, LinkedIn, for example. Okay, so two useful expressions here. Let's discuss some of the latest advancements in technology. And last one there, I find it fascinating how technology has made communication so much easier. Asking a question here, how has technology changed the way we work and connect with each other? Now, again, everybody's workplace is different, but the technological revolution, I guess we can call it, over the past 20, 25 years with the internet has really changed how everybody works, right? Even this conference is, you know, being made on the internet as we speak, right? <laughs> 20 years ago, this would not be the case. The next one here, in my opinion, technology has both positive and negative aspects. Say that one again. In my opinion, technology has both positive and negative aspects. Let's say you work in finance. Okay, I think someone mentioned that they did, someone works in accounting. Um, so yeah, if you're at a finance related event, um, if you're giving a speech today, we will be discussing finance, which is the management of money and investments. The next one, let's explore the importance of financial planning in our lives. And a question there. How does the stock market impact our personal finances? Now, over on the, the right here, you will see some vocabulary, quite useful for not just businesses, but everyday purposes as well. We have some images to demonstrate, uh, to sign, to deposit money in your bank, to take money out, to withdraw, Insert, swipe, tap, calculate, to pay, and exchange. Just for language there. <laughs> for, I guess, uh, you know, at a finance event or everyday purposes. A sustainability event. This is quite uh, an important topic or a very important topic right now. One could say, let's explore ways to live more sustainably and reduce our ecological footprint. You might also say, I'm passionate about environmental issues. And a question here, what are some simple actions we can take to reduce waste and con uh, conserve resources? Okay. I know many companies around the world, especially in France right now, are thinking of ways of uh, becoming more sustainable, right? It's a, it's a big focus of the the French government and the EU, I guess, right now as well, yeah? If you're at an economics event, let's discuss the basic principles of economics and their impact on our daily lives. This takes me back to university. I did study economics for a while at university. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, let's discuss the basic principles of economics and their impact on our daily lives. And the last question there, how does economic policy influence society? Let's keep this going here. Now, understanding business situations, how to speak, okay? Now, this is, this is a piece of advice I will share with everyone here. This can be applicable to not just business situations, but everyday situations as well as language learners, okay? Speak at a moderate pace. Okay, try not to speak too fast, okay, especially if you're working, you know, with colleagues and clients from all over the world, your goal is to be understood, okay, you don't have to demonstrate how quickly <laughs> you can speak, okay, so speaking at a moderate pace to ensure everyone understands and follows you, okay. And if someone is interested and asks a question, uh, you can use different expressions like these. That's a good question. Or that's a very interesting perspective. And thank you for your point of view. We love to be polite, right? <laughs> it's embedded in our language, embedded in our culture. Yes, very important. <laughs> okay. So the last point here on small talk. Now, this is a topic I get asked quite a lot about from my, my students, you know, and it's a very important thing and it can be quite a challenging skill to, to master, you know. Um, you know, in British and American culture in general, we love to have small talk. You know, we love to, you know, establish some form of relationship before doing business or before starting a meeting. It could take five, 10, maybe even 15 minutes. So let's take a look here, okay? So we have a list of countries here, okay? As I mentioned before, small talk is a very important thing in different countries around the world, okay? Now I've mentioned the United States, the UK, Canada, where I currently live, uh, France, where you guys are from, uh, Germany, Italy, Japan, China, Brazil, and Australia. You can take note of these. You will also have the copy of this PowerPoint as well, okay? <laughs> Now your sector, okay? So things like here, um, you know, you could say I work in information technology, I work in healthcare, in finance, education, manufacturing, retail, hospitality, transportation, energy, and marketing. Some of these industries here are relevant uh, to you. <laughs> now here, I'm originally from blah, 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 and I've been working in this industry for a number of years. So for me personally, I could say I'm originally from Scotland and I've been working in education for 10 years. Well, it has been 10 years. <laughs> Time flies, okay. What about everybody else here? Why don't you share your um, uh, share your ideas here in the, the chat box as well? So maybe you can tell me which city you're from. I know most of you are from France, um, but maybe you can tell me about your city. And once again, the industry for how many years? I'll give you a minute to do this, okay? Faustine is in there. I'm originally from France and I've been working in education for 12 years. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Similar backgrounds, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Faustine, that's great. Uh, Claire, okay, I'm originally from Metz and I've been working as a lawyer for 15 years, superb. 
Victoria. I'm originally from France. I've been working in industry for two years. Okay, good. Which industry, Victoria? Maybe you can share in the chat. Geraldine, yeah. I'm originally from Grenoble and I've been working in the travel industry. Yep. In the travel industry for 20 years. Good. I've been working in healthcare. Yes, thank you, Christine. Great. Electronic industry, superb. Thank you, Victoria. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, everyone. That was great. Okay, superb. Superb. <laughs> now, you might want to, um, in, when you know conducting small talk, you might want to connect on shared ideas or shared interests by saying, I'm passionate about sustainability in business. Does anyone, uh, sorry, does anyone, or do you share the same interest as me? And what interests do you have? Okay. Some examples of interests here that could be relevant in a business context. One could talk about, you know, community involvement, writing, blogging, learning languages like you guys, photography, travel, sports, uh, reading, making music, yoga, even perhaps for well being at the workplace. You might want to say here, my interests include writing, my interests include learning languages, my interests include travel, etc. Okay. Superb. Now, to conclude today's conference, okay, one thing I would I would say here, um, for you to conclude in general as well, you could make you could say expressions such as, you know, let's stay connected. I believe there could be exciting opportunities for collaboration in the future. And please keep in touch, or let's keep in touch. A lot of vocabulary and expressions today, as always. <laughs> I hope everyone enjoyed that. Okay. <laughs> now, my final tip for everyone here, you can practice introducing yourself in front of a mirror with a friend or even with an English speaking colleague to focus on sounding more confident and friendly. We have some modules available on the e-learning platform as well. So they range from A2 onwards. Um, so introductions in professional contexts. And we also have an article available on the Le Cercle de Long blog. Okay. So yeah, that pretty much concludes for today. I just want to say thank you so much to everyone for coming today. I really appreciate that once again. Um, yeah, so I'm happy to take any questions you have right now, any queries. Uh, you can see them in the chat box or you can turn on your microphone. <laughs> You're very welcome, Geraldine. Thank you so much for coming as well. Okay, Patrice, you too, everybody. <laughs> Nicola, absolute pleasure. Victoria, okay, thank you. <laughs> No problem. Well, it seems no one has any any questions. So I'll just say once again, thank you so much uh, to everyone for coming today. Uh, the video or the recording will be available online uh, probably as of next week. So um, if you want to review the content, you absolutely can. Thank you so much, everyone. Take care. Okay. Bye-bye. Edinburgh is a beautiful place, Faustine. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's, it's a great city. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>